Hello everyone, welcome back to Crypto Gains for another video. In this video, how I would invest £1,000 into this crypto space in May. You can see here I did a 500 one, I've done a £100 one. I keep doing them every single month because it's interesting and it can help you on your crypto journey. If this sounds interesting to you, please drop that like, give me a subscribe if you're new watching and I will dive into this. But before I do so, I need to let you know I am not a financial advisor. These are just my own personal opinions on the market, so please always do your own research before investing any money. That being said, I just want to do a quick super special thank you to Mark Mijnan. You know, you became a crypto VIP CEO. Well, you look crypto CEO partner, that's the one. You came into that tier. It made me super happy. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate your support. I can't stress that enough. Thank you so, so, so much. There's also extra patrons in this tier. I see you as well. At the end of this uh, month, maybe at the beginning of the month, I'm going to put all your names, fling, on, fling them across the screen like you just saw. And yeah, just keep doing that every month, keeping on top of it. But yeah, I appreciate you all. Thank you so much. Now, coin number one, Rarible. There's a reason why I would invest into Rarible. And I think a few people are already paying attention. I don't know if this is the crypto people, like the YouTubers, but people are paying attention. There's been some interesting news on NFTs and Rarible focuses on NFTs. It's a marketplace to buy NFTs. Let's click on explore so you can see here. It's always making absolute insane gains. I can see here at the top left, people are starting to, uh, to do these collage things because they can see that it sells. I like them. But look at this, guys. This this is what makes me want to invest a thousand pounds into this sort of uh, area here, right? Look, you, you can now buy NFTs on eBay. This is massive news you best believe because if people on ebay are going to be looking they're going to be like what's this nft what is nft look <laughs> what's an nft what's an nft you best believe they're going to do more searches on google and all these yahoo whatever uh block uh, what browser i was gonna say blockchain i ain't cut it whatever browser they're gonna search on for nfts you know because they're looking on ebay seeing it they're gonna find platforms like Rarible, and you best believe it will encourage people to want to join and get involved in this space because at the same time you have to remember as big of the news this stuff is look there's another one here look <laughs> ebay officially opens up its platform for nft sales mad crazy ludicrous bomb i never thought i'd see the day <laughs> but i'm seeing the day Listen, as much as this is great news for, you know, exposure on NFTs, especially because of eBay. Now, this is oh, May 11th. It's been out for about a week now, maybe something like that. Uh, you know, people may consider to come to these platforms here. And I'll tell you why. Because eBay still offers that 10% fee. And as far as I'm aware, <laughs> there's... The, the fees are tiny. Oh, well, with Rarible, <laughs> you have to pay the ETH fee. But, you know, apart from that... There's not masses amount of fees in relation to other coins when you deal with uh, NFTs. Rarible is just an example, but Rarible is one of the biggest platforms for NFTs, and that's why I would invest into it. I would put three hundred and thirty-three pounds into Rarible. Now, let me show you this because I have to get this down, and so you can see what's going on. And I'll pull it up based on the prices that we see today. So, twelve pounds for each coin. That is super cheap because I would buy it a bit higher than this, but I don't care. I would do that because I can see the potential. Up thirty-four percent in a day. Nice to me. Uh, let's just do this then. So, they call it Rari, right? Because that's the that's the name, short ticker name for Rarible. Rari. I think I put the eye wrong. Who cares? I would invest three hundred and thirty-three pounds. Now, how much would I get for £333? Let's get out CoinGecko. i got to do this. If you're new watching and you're new to the industry, you want to know how much you'll make for your money, money's amount, whatever you're going to spend, come on CoinGecko. It's the best you know site that I can use, or that I use. I can use. <laughs> well, we can all use it. It's the best site that I use to convert our prices into the currency that we want to invest in, right? Or asset nowadays. We call it assets nowadays. £333 would give me... 27.49 rare coins right now watch this because i pay attention to a lot of things when it comes to these coins it's a tiny market cap which means it has room to grow like i said this news here is big news that ebay is allowing nfts so people will be selling on there and i can only imagine that the people that are selling nfts on here who already are in the they're already in the crypto space and have you know 
NFTs on here as well, Rarible, and many other projects that I'm going to show you going forward. Uh, but yeah, I will put £333 on the basis that this could do a, what, a 100x? Easily! In my eyes, it will be 100x gains back. I believe so. So, you know, I'll take my £33 and I'm going to show you why. Hold on, let me hold that. So, £33, £333. Let me just do the market cap first. I'm going to take this, put it in my basic Windows 10. You know how I do. Come on if you see my channel. And I'm going to times the market cap by 100 because I want to show you what the market cap's going to look like when it does 100x. Because you're not talking hundreds of billions. Nah, -uh, you're talking 4.6 billion. That is tiny. 4.6 billion. And when you see 4.6 billion market cap for, uh, for Rarible, because it's 100x, right? Times 100. Look, times 10, shimmy the decimal cross. You know how we do, £120 for one coin. That's just time 10. Times 100, £1,206 for one coin. It's possible, especially when you're looking at these kind of market caps because you're not talking tens of billions, you're not talking hundreds of billions. I'm talking 4.6 billion, it's possible. Now, now remember this, you get 27 point what four six coins four nine coins i'm leaving myself short i'm gonna take the first five digits like that because i want to show you what kind of price you could be making because again you're taking 333 pounds of the money right of the thousand pounds investment times it by and because that's how many coins it gives you 27 coins right it looks confusing it looks like twenty seven thousand, but it's actually 27 point right times it by 1200 and what because i've told you when you see 100x for rareable you're looking at a £1,206 price. And uh, yeah, I think it's doable. You would basically get £33,000. Mad, crazy, ludicrous. Bum. I think that's possible. And I'd be happy with that. I'd probably just take the whole lot. <sighs> what? Because I took £1,000 already and turned half of one third of my £1,000 into thirty three grand. You best believe I'd be taking my profits. Where is this? I'm going to put this in so you can see. 33, uh, let's get the little comma, 161. I've made 33 grand! And I've still got 600 pounds to go. You best believe. <laughs> what am I laughing for? Next coin. Bit of silence there. Anticipation. <laughs> okay. Echo me. Like I said. I'm paying attention to what's going on in the real world. When eBay's offering NFTs, I only believe that the other prices are going to explode. I've been seeing it here. Uh, you know, this is starting to come up 5% today. Fine. Let's see what happens as time goes on. I think it can go back to all-time highs. I think this... Like, I've been calling 50 pence for Ikomi for the longest time. I think it's possible. Because when you look at their project... Overall, what they're trying to do is fantastic. And again, if you're new to the space, you don't know about Ikomi, they got an app. You can just go on your app, download the app, and start buying NFTs. It's that simple. And look at the, the I was going to say, partnerships, licenses that they've got. You know, they're talking big names like DC Comics, Star Trek, Ghostbusters, Back to the Future, because I didn't get my car. And if anyone wants to send me that car, you're welcome to. I appreciate you. But they've got some nice partnerships here. I think they was looking to do something with NFL as well, right? Let me know. Drop some comments what's going on, because I thought they was doing something with NFL. NFL, which was some big news if they are going to do that uh, but yeah I, I i'm keeping my eye on this space because i really do believe that nfts are going to be around to stay for long not just with ebay but again i showed you before and i'll show you again let me search it binance nft because they're looking to drop an nft marketplace introducing <coughs> introducing nfts binance's nft marketplace Look, they're looking, they're looking to launch one in June. So you best believe I'm expecting by June for NFTs to start shooting up in price. People will be making more. I'm about to drop some more NFTs. You've seen my NFTs. Matter of fact, I'm going to do a little quick promo on my NFTs. Because if you haven't seen it already, look, just click on any any <laughs> video. It doesn't matter. I'm going to pause it real quick. Uh, pause this. Look, I've got NFTs as well. Let me show you. I always drop it in my little link in the description down here check them out because if you like the pokemon cards and all that stuff i've got it all and they look awesome i promise you look da vinci come on to da vinci you can either click the links in the description that i've got on any video or search crypto gains it will come up crypto legends these cards look awesome i've got all the top uh <laughs> crypto legends that's how it is you know people that make the blockchains and stuff you've got charles hoskinson here 
<coughs> coughing like crazy they look good it's going to take time to load but it usually spins side to side you can see it there spinning and it looks really really nice all 3d pop out and stuff this is what it's about make sure you come grab some of these nfts i think that they're gonna sell in good time and make people profits in the future elon musk you know what it's about anyway <laughs> let's go back to this ekomi <laughs> have you got your own what have you got your own nfts if you have drop them in the comments let me see it. i'm interested to see what people are doing you know that's what it's about now ekomi again 100x because you'd be talking let's have a look right and you, pff, it's possible it's possible guys let's do this because take the market cap is half a, it's half a billion right 500 million so you know it's a bit higher than the last one but, you know, times this by 100x. Because, again, I was calling 50. With the licenses they've got and stuff, I was calling it to do 100x, 50 pence-ish, right? You'd be looking at a 50. Is that right? That's 100x? No. I thought it'd be higher than that. That ain't right. That's super. Hey, that's dope. Listen, I thought it was going to be in the billions. Hold on. Is this a billion already? No. It's 500 million. Ross. Okay. <laughs> It's opening my eyes now. So you times the market cap of Ekomi by 100x. 100 times your money will pull it at a $51 billion market cap. It's possible. I was thinking it was going to go into the hundreds of billions. You know, because I was calling 51 pence. But just here alone, this 100 times your money back. Because again, put £1,000 in or whatever in. I would put £333. And you know this. I'm going to show you in a second. Because I'm splitting it with the, the last one was 33 This one's 33 I've got 33, 333 left. But look, times 10, 3 pence. Times 100, 30 pence. That, that could be doable, guys. Again, you can do your own research on this in your own time. But, the, you know, this speaks for itself. You can see what it's about. I like the AR as well. I've got the augment augmented reality where you can put your coin i was gonna say your coins you could put your nfts on like your side and stuff and walk around and it remains there it's pretty cool you know we live in a digital world let's do this because when you see this market cap size here 51 billion like i said 30 cents how much where's the comey let me just quickly find the comey how much would i get for my 333 i need to find out uh, it co Ugh, why has it gone off? Here we go. A Comey. So three hundred and thirty-three pounds would give me, uh, and I'll check this. What's this? In, what's three hundred thirty-three dollars? Uh, well, I said a thousand pounds, right? So you're talking a thousand dollars. You split that into three. Uh, hold on, a thousand. A thousand pounds in dollars is one thousand four hundred. So you'd split that in three. Right? I'm just trying to give you like a rough estimate for in dollars if you're looking in America. Uh, it will give me ten thousand. No, a hundred and seven thousand. 300 and f sorry <laughs> 107,732 coins now i would be patient because i would wait for this to blossom and bloom you know you know ebay's driving the nft space up higher people are going to start being aware of these other types of coins and nfts and stuff they might look at variable they might go on the app stores and just, <laughs> just type nft i don't know what pops up but if vv pops up you best believe they will click on that because it's going to open people's mind right huh? nft let me look in the phone Oh, look, there's an app called NFT. Oh, it's all about Vivi. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> Did that make sense? I don't know. But <laughs> what am I laughing for? Anyway, guys, you know what I'm like. 107,732 coins. You times that by, you know, 0. 0.30 pence, right? Because I'm calling a 30 pence, 50, 51 billion. You're looking at 32,319 pounds. Mad. Crazy ludicrous bomb and i've still got 333 pounds to go i'm gonna take this price and i'm gonna put it in my notepad so you can see how much get this is just off of a thousand pounds ross again and, and that's just based and if you want to use this strategy you're welcome to it's just based because omi's like omi omi's short for Akomi, right this is just based off these prices that i believe it can hit and you know of course i would be patient enough to wait for them to hit these prices that's why I'm doing it, right? Because I'm going to be patient. I'm going to be happy when it gets to the prices. And then I'm going to sell them at the prices that I'm, I'm seeing now and that you're seeing in the video. I can't even get my words out. I'm keeping it in raw, fresh, and organic like Tesco's. 32,319 uh, pounds. Ross, that's 66 grand. I could buy a studio flat with that. Rent that out. <laughs> 
or pull it in another coin, stake it, you know, because when I look at the houses, right, I look at the studio flat and all the stuff you've got to do, the, uh, the estate fees and all that, estate agency fees and all that, you might as well just stake a coin and get free tokens, you know, just saying. But that's some nice gains already. Ross. Okay, final coin. Meme coin. Meme. Meme. Let's take a look at the website because they had, had a little update. I like it. All about meme, guys. Again, I'm just going to keep showing you the screen here. eBay, <laughs> NFTs. People are going to be searching. Uh, it's normal because when I'm on eBay and I see something, I search it. I Google it. I do all sorts. So when you search, what happens when you search NFTs? I'm just curious. NFTs, because this is what people would do, right? They come and Google search NFTs. They're going to see what, what are NFTs and why, uh, hold on, and why some are worth millions, you see. They'll start looking. They'll start looking at places, non-fungible tokens. Yeah, they'll see the eBay stuff. Okay. See, I, I will do my research. This is what I would do. I need to know what NFTs are. What are NFTs? I'll search all like this, you know. Find out again. I'm, I'm assuming if you start reading this properly, it will start showing where most of the NFTs are being sold. Probably come up with like OpenSea and Rareable and stuff like that. But yeah, meme is all about NFTs, and I'm I'm sitting there comfortably, and they're clever because you know when you stake when you stake coins, you usually receive money back. But with this, you stake your coins, uh, your meme tokens, and you get pineapples, which is what you see here. But then you get the pineapples, and then you can buy NFTs of them. It's cool. And then you can sell your NFTs on for more money or profit in the future. I like the idea. And I think that this is going to really blow as well. But what fascinates me so much with meme is the supply. It's just so damn tiny. I'm not talking market cap. The market cap is tiny. But the supply, guys, look at this, 28,000. Now, you may be looking, thinking that's a lot. I paid a lot more than this. This is a good time to get in, which is why I would put 333 pounds. Let me just quickly put this here so you can see what I would do. Because, yeah, 333, oh, let me, <laughs> going ahead of myself there. Uh, meme, I would put, uh, hold on, 333 pounds. I feel like I really need to put 333 pounds. It's super cheap right now. <laughs> I haven't done the profits yet, but look at this. I'm going to show you one coin that has a similar supply, max supply. You're never getting any more than 28,000, right? Remember this because I'm going to show you, actually, I'm going to show you two coins. Yearn Finance. Look at what Yearn Finance is sitting on right now for price. And then let's just bring up Bitcoin while we're at it because you know where I'm going to go with this in a second. Uh, but yeah, Yearn Finance st stands out to me uh, the most with this particular coin because Yearn Finance, look at the price. 50 grand! Ross! That's gone up from when I last... It went up from last time I did a video on that. Look at the supply. 36,000. Not hundreds of thousands, not millions. Not millions. Thousand. 36,000. Right? Look at meme. <laughs> 28,000. It's less supply than Yearn Finance. And Yearn is sitting on 50 grand. Mad crazy ludicrous bomb. This makes me open my eyes and I really do start to see that what I'm saying with these coins are true. The, the supply really plays an important role, trust me. Really does. And you can really get a good picture of what kind of prices are, are soon to come with these coins. You best believe it's possible for me to hit 50 grand. But I'm just keeping it real. Look at this, 19 million. What, do you want to see what 100x will look like for the market cap? Because it's not hard. Look, Bitcoin, right? For it to do double the price, it has to hit roughly a trillion dollars because it's sitting on what? 600, it's got to hit 1.2 billion dollars. That's British pounds, by the way. Probably bump it to what? 1.6 billion, trillion? 1, 1 trillion, 6 billion, something like that in, in dollars. Something like that, you know what I mean. What I'm saying is to just do double, it's got to put a lot of money into it. You know, with this, I'm talking 100x from now it probably wouldn't even put it at a billion or just, oh, let me just have a look. I need to show you this. Times this by 100, okay, maybe just over. What we, we'd be looking at 1.9 billion, 2 billion roughly. 2 billion, that's doable. And that's 100 times your money. <sighs> that's all I can say <sighs> because that's, I can see it. And what, what kind of highs was it at before? This coin went as high as what? It went as high as, uh, $3,700 <laughs> coming down a bit. I think this is a good buy, not investment advice. But I look at this coin, I look at what it's trying to do, what it's trying to achieve. And me, myself, I 
I purely because it's scarce, and I'm talking super scarce. You know, like that tender looking, juicy finger licking barbecue piece of chicken right here. And I'm standing at the front of the line, showing you as it's on my plate. <laughs> Walk it, you touch my chicken. <laughs> what am I laughing for? You best believe. I'm showing you this because I, I just see the potential. And if it was to do something like that, <laughs> I'm just, I know that, look, I'm not comparing the utility side of things as to what they do and don't do. I understand they do different things, right? I'm just talking supply. And literally, I'm just talking supply right there. That's what fascinates me the most. Because, you know, when people talk about Bitcoin, Elon Musk and all sorts, <clears throat> yeah, I invested into Bitcoin because it's scarce. Yeah, it's really hard to get hold of. There's only 21 million. That's why I definitely thought I needed to get some. You <laughs> know, grayscale dropping billions into bl uh, bloody Bitcoin because it's scarce. <laughs> because it's... <laughs> because I care it's too much. <laughs> because it's scarce. They think it's scarce. Well, it is. Essentially, it is scarce. If that's scarce, what the hell is this? Because... <laughs> because... Okay, I got to stop. <laughs> because this is... Too, what is it? A hun I want to say a hundred times more, almost a hundred times, maybe 80 times more scarce than Bitcoin. Literally, 28,000. You had, what? put it like this. This is how scarce it is, right? Really going to open your eyes. If you had one of these, there would be 27,999 left, right? That means the rest of the world, the billions of other people in the world, once these 28,000 people have got, if 28,000, <laughs> If 28,000 people just had one, the rest of the world would never, ever, ever, ever be able to own one meme coin. What if you're one of these greedy people? <laughs> what if you're just super greedy and you have like two, three, or four, or ten? I'm just saying. Make me shout down my mic. I don't mean to shout at you, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I just want to open your eyes to it. Okay, I talk too much. Uh, like I said, 100x would be a 1.9 billion. You know, you can take this price here, shimmy 100, because this is where it gets real, guys. Look, times 10, 7,003 pounds for one coin, right? Price times 100, 70,300, and it would be 70,365. It'd be that right there. 70,365 pounds for one coin. I mean, is it just me or can you see this as well? It's just mad. It's just mad. So this is why I would invest £333 into this. How much would I get for these coins? Let's see. I think I'd get like a fragment of it, wouldn't I? <laughs> I'm typing 333 in there. I'm supposed to be putting meme in there. Let's have a look. Meme. Here we go. Sorry this video is long, but it's one of those ones that you just... I just didn't want to rush it, you know. 333 Ugh, I did it again. What am I doing? I've got meme in front of me. Let's go down here. 333 would give me... 0.47 now i'd be happy with that some people get funny because they haven't <laughs> they don't own one full coin but i'm fine with that because like i said if it hits 70 grand just saying for one coin let's do this 0 0.47 something two and i said the price could potentially do 100x and literally that's only 2 billion it could go high this could do a thousand x because if it did a thousand x you're talking 19 billion i'm just saying but let's go on the basis it just does 100x 70,393 is what i'm seeing here right uh so you know times it by look i'll just do it again for you so you can see in case you're like oh well really times 10 7,003 7,039 times 100 70,393 right let's do this so i'll take my coins and then i'll sell it at 70,393 subtotal 32,288 pounds. I almost made a hundred grand with these three coins. It's mad. If, again, if I was patient enough to wait for it to blossom and bloom and reach these prices, I would be patient because at the end of the day, I've got a ton load of other coins just like you guys that are blossoming and blooming and doing other things. I'd be taking profits from my other coins whilst I'm just sitting back, just chilling with these coins, waiting for them to blossom and bloom. Let's add it up because, again, this was just a thousand pound investment. Let's see what it came to in total. Uh, let's clear this. So for, let's start from the top. 33,161. I'm going to show you in dollars plus 32,000. 319 plus uh, 33,288 equals 98,761 pounds. That's a house!
that is almost a house. Actually, you could buy a house with that. You see that? Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to leave it here. If this was helpful to you, let me show you this in dollars. Please drop that like. <laughs> Give me a subscribe if you're new watching. 98,000. 98,768. You're looking at 138 grand. 138,000 dollars. You turn one. You basically turn $1,400 into $138,600. That's just mad. This cryptocurrency space is just mad with the potential that could happen. Okay, so I'm going to leave it here. If this was helpful, I already said it. Please drop a like, give me a subscribe. Guys, I got new patrons. If you haven't already become a patron, you're welcome to do so. I have seven tiers. Take your pick. You can come through but like the other people because, you know, I've seen some witches and some muggles and some wizards coming through on platform nine and three quarters. They got me sitting here for another 10 minutes. You best believe I'm going to be sitting here now for 20 minutes calling your damn names. But I appreciate you. Thank you. And I see you all in these tiers here. Thank you very, very much. Satoshi Nakamoto. Can I get it right? Satoshi. Satoshi. Satoshi Nakamoto. <laughs> Oh, it's just been one of them days. You know who you are, Satoshi Nakamoto. Thank you so, so much. Truly appreciate your support as well. And yeah, I've, I've got to call these names. Hold on. This is going to make some noise. Just pause. Here we go. I've got to call these names. I've just updated it. I have patrons saying, I can't hear my names. You're going to hear your names now. You best believe because I've just updated it. It's a long ass list. My God. Okay, let's start. Shout out. Oh my God. Am I still scrolling? <laughs> okay. Shout out to. Oh my God. Dana, Mr. T West, Toy, hold on, Toy and Artery, Glenda, It's Time, Cobra Black, SM, I Dry, Marco Costanti, Michael, AJ, Frank C63, Clarence Dennison, Christopher Johnson, you're going to be sitting there for time, I tell you, if you want to hear all these, Jacob Adams, Mr. Anonymous, Anonymous, Suad Shakla, Lewis Roach, Latasha F, Carlos Rocha, Mr. Tafu, Damro, Samo Stan Cox, Rahul the God, Dante Kennedy, RG Bizzle, Max, Kenneth Whitley, Wisdom, Wisdom, always, always get mixed up, Mar Marcelo Trevino, you know what I mean, Rediax Robinson, Manny Sanchez, Catherine Chung, Tyrone Samuel, Stephen Edward, Abiola, Rachel Mack, Evan Fong, Pamela Williams, Brandon, Stacks and Racks, Rick, Joffrey Williamson, Williamson, Omar Thomas, Caspinell, Avon Davis, CCP269, good feels nice, Lucas, Albert Lynn, Alexander Manion, Will W, Peter Stoddard, Belinda Spencer, Eric Foreman, Semyon, Fatima Price, Shonda Owens, Paul Palmer, I'm losing my damn breath, I don't care, I'm still carrying on! <laughs> what are you laughing for? Yeah, what are you laughing for? Tanner McLaren, Josh Wills, <laughs> Tom Baird, Marcel Essos, KJ if 1905, Kevin Ward, Sassavi, Michael Kill. I'm not saying my mouth. <coughs> Taking my mouth. Christopher. <coughs> still in my mouth. <coughs> Go away. Christopher Hoss. I felt like it was a little fly. Uh, Christine, Peter Mozart. It's just in my mouth, chilling like it's nothing. Just chilling. <laughs> I can't go on, stop. Chris, Chris C, Snowy, D Swearing, Andrew Harding, Posey Eric, Kelvin, William Fox, Eschar, Claudette Homiliosa, like Wingardium Leviosa. Woo you best believe there's some new Harry Potter spell names. Listen up. Shakir Hussain, Jeff Tontich, Ricardo Hernandez, Paul Lamaru. I'm brief. Lamar Lee Seeley, Cody Harris, S. Daniel Hopkins, Cyril, Cyril, one of them, Alexander Ofori, Gilbert Baggins, Stefan, Eric Jackson, Paul Forrest, Hassan the Don, Benson Hunt, Powell, Russell Cohan, Josh, Joseph Marcus, Joshua Maylona, got to say them slow because I get tongue twisted, Crypto Mac, Jonathan, Bomb, Andrew Queen, Give Me The Gains, VidX, West A, <laughs> I t but, <laughs> can you imagine if that, was, okay, M Ali, <laughs> Mo C, Fiat Jassin, LSS, Mike V, Joanna Moforvero, Oric M, J Fave, Pierce O'Sullivan, Terry JC, Oli, Elton Rosario, Orville Broomfield, Frank Essa, Nasa, Ignacio, Danny Handy. I missed it, Ignacio. Okay, carry on. Elijah Gilliam, or Gilliam, Mandy Sahali, G Crypto Lumen 7, William Kendall, Chris Chico, NM That Man, Magnus. Oh, look, i got to start scrolling up. Uh, Francis Loco. Zach Adam, Mansour, Kevin Phoenix, Jender Jaguar, Don, Donny Devereaux, Nico McDonald, Michael Lloyd, Marcus Gittery, Robert Loss, Exelios, to mash up the Demento in his head. <laughs> I swear, if they ever make a new... Anyway, if they got to make a new Harry Potter with these names in. Stony Mac, or spells, you know. John Lowe, Ken Marold, Hodlin Training, Ranjud Singh, Raphael Cooper, Laura Bruce, Aiden, Ejiki Okori, Six Bell, Luke, Luke Ayo, <laughs> Luke Ainsworth, Mr. Do Right, Anthony Berry, Zero Perfection, Dwight Thompson, Ian Fates, TRG Investments, Brainco Dorsulik, Marky Sassy. I just spoke to you, Brainco. Big up to you, man. On uh, yeah, Patreon at this time, anyway. Uh, Marky Sassy, hello. Ryan Orange, Ryan Williams, Toucan. That's a bit of a game, wasn't it? Hello. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
not that I'm a fan. I got gay friends, you know. Uh, Santino, Raf Hussein, Kenneth Holmes Jr., Joel, Joel. I think it's one. Of, I, I just I know it's one of them. Crazy Jam, Timothy J. Brusky, Renee, I mean Renee, and Chris. <laughs> These names. Melissa James Davis. I'm gonna get some mixed up. Melissa James Davis. UK and Scene, No Name, Jack Salita, Pablo, Bradley Kim, Lena111, Sunny V, Crypto1, Ross Martinu, Hani Abu, Ricardo Vingas, or Venegas, I think it's Venegas, let me know, Shinadu, Oscar Vilgas, Krypton Moon, Nightman 911 is new to you, Jackson Tepper, I told you there was loads, I ain't even got to the new names yet, these are just the standard names now, you know, Francis Hernandez, Elliot Barron, Akbar, uh, Big Al, Jermaine Allen, Nick Katanaru, David Edeji, Brian Nolan. I think some of these are going to come off the Crypto Games Express, but it's all good. I'll, you know, have a great journey. Chiquita, John Sandoval, Aaron Silo, Chris McClendon, Optimus Poompage, Edgar Cortez, Angel, Ramil TV, Kirsten. Hello. Uh, Mr. Drew, SNCC, C. Mullen, uh, no, Daddy Albus, Sander, Camp, Sander Campong. I'm getting there. Joshua Asher, Darnell D. There's so many. Just sit and make me see it for the 20 minutes, I promise you. Black Ape. <laughs> All the peas in that one. Uh, Bob Ross, Eloy, Mikey, User X2019, Ibrahim Kamara, Black Star, Chiles Creations, Akius Voldorus. Just mash you up, bruv. <laughs> I love the names, trust me. Abid Hussein, I swear, if I could, I'd turn you all into Harry Potter spells. Moises D. Lopez. Michael, Keith Harrison, Joseph Samara. Okay, we're getting to the end now. Neona, uh, well, I thought so. Neona Kaduna, Chris Tap Dances, Iris, Jack Bliss, Montreal Ammon. <coughs> Clear my throat, that was not a name, okay? Joey J. Raj T. Liz Liesel, Brian Reedy, Islam Terry, Corn. Hold on. Cornell Goodman, Matthew Walker, Carlos Porter, Sarpanch Singh, Dennis Boonman, Alessandro Benini. Okay, we're getting there. Mark Peake. <laughs> There's so many. I told you this is a long ass list. I'm not joking. You've never seen this many people before. Mark Peake. Let me say it again. Elliot Chill, Royal ID, Teddy Barrel, Hassan P, Makuga. I think I said that right. Right? Makuga. Gordon McCulloch. Monica Mateo, Adam Allen, okay, new names, Ralph Green, Marcus Dunbar, Johnny Matthews, okay, we really are getting it, Michael James Artard, I think that's right, okay, mm -hmm. <laughs> Mouse's Gallery, Mouse's Gallery, I think that's right, Mrs. Carla V, hello, Rizwan, what's up Rizwan, I think I said that right, Rizwan, yeah, A, A Kings, A Kings, it's A Kings, or A I think it's A Kings, Ice Cat Trader. Okay. Davidus Normantus. That sounds like a sick spell to make yourself invisible. Davidus Normantus. Sick. Connie. A. Ala A. Alamu. A. Alamu. A. A. Alamu. It's like you unlock this. A. Alamu. <laughs> well, you know, I'm just here in High Park. Williamson Johnson. <clears throat> and, well, I'm not scrolling up. <laughs> just stare at the screen, you know. Where am I? Too many names. Anthony. Uh, Donny, I think that's right, Donny, Donny, let me know, Karen Denick, yeah, uh, Kimberly Greenman, no, Kimberly, actually, I think that, I think my phone might have auto-spelled, it's either Greenman or Gearman, I think, is it Gearman, Kimberly Gearman, I'm gonna have to check that one, all for one, and one for all, you know, S hold on, Cylindel Tashuma, I think that's right, Stefan, Coin Age, Andriana Landa, I promise you I'm almost there, PC, like PC World. You know you used to go there. I think it's Curry's now, isn't it? Mark, hold on. Mark Mid, Mark Midgenen. Super special thanks to you as well. Dave, Chris Adlam, Crypto Newbie, or Nubby, one of them. Thomas Rodriguez, I'm almost there. Gil, Golden Bags, oh my God. Slow Meezy and Noel21, my actual God. That's got to be about 12, 15 minutes just there alone. Mad! I appreciate you all so much. Thank you. And if there's any new Patreons, you're going to have to wait because that was a long-ass list. It's getting longer. I'm just sitting here just chilling, calling their damn names. Thank you. And if you want to become a patron, listen, they became, if you're still here watching, I don't know. They became patrons because they get to see when I buy, when I sell, how much profits we're going to take, when I'm planning to sell, what prices I'm selling at. All these things that you may need because, you know, the market's not going to go up forever. You don't want it to fall on your damn face. Check the posts. You know, if you're in my uh, uh, tier with the all stake alerts, buy alerts and all that stuff, you can see it all. 
I am gone. Thank you all so, so much. I truly appreciate you all. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. I can't even scroll up. Look, it's all at the top. Cheers.